in a cobweb type market situation the output decision of the producer depends on the price of the previous period and the demand for products depends on the price of the current period assuming demand function and supply function the cobweb market model can be stated as quantity demanded qd is equal to a minus b p t where p t is the price of current period quantity supply q s is equal to minus c plus d p t minus 1 where p t minus 1 is the price of previous period here b is the slope of demand curve and d is the slope of supply curve now substituting equation 1 and 2 in equation 3 we get a minus b p t is equal to minus c plus d p t minus 1 after simplification we get p t plus d by b into p t minus 1 equal to a plus c divided by b now shifting shifting the time subscript ahead of one period we rewrite the equation as p t plus 1 plus d by b into p t equal to a plus c divided by b this is equation number 4 equation 4 is a first order difference equation because this equation has time lag of one period that is t plus 1 we know that the general solution of first order difference equation y t plus 1 plus a into y t plus c is y t equal to y naught minus c divided by 1 plus a into minus a whole to the power t plus c by 1 plus a or this is the general solution of this first order difference equation. Similarly, the solution of equation 4 is P T equal to P naught minus A plus C by B divided by 1 plus D by B into minus D by B whole to the power T plus A plus C divided by B divided by 1 plus d by b in equation 4 instead of c we have a plus c divided by b and instead of a we have d by b that is why the solution of equation 4 is pt equal to p naught minus a plus c divided by b divided by 1 plus d by b into minus d by b whole to the power t plus a plus c divided by b divided by 1 plus d by b. After simplification, we get p t equal to p naught minus a plus c divided by b plus d multiplied by minus d by t whole to the power t plus a plus c divided by b plus d that is equation number 5 since p bar equal to a plus c divided by b plus d is the intertemporal equilibrium price we rewrite the equation 5 as p t equal to p naught minus p bar multiplied by minus d by b whole to the power t plus p bar that is equation number 6 now equation 6 is the time part of cobweb market model where p naught is the initial price and p bar is the intertemporal equilibrium price now the nature of time part of pt depends on d by b that is the ratio of the slope of supply curve D and the slope of demand curve B. 
depending on the value of d and b we may have three cases case 1 if b is greater than d or the slope of demand curve is more than the slope of supply curve then d by b is less than 1 or a fraction in such case as the value of t is increasing then the value of minus d by b power t is falling or as t tends to infinity then minus d by b whole to the power t is tends to 0 and according to equation 6 pt will be equal to p bar that is with the passage of time pt tends to p bar since the time part of price pt is tends to equilibrium price p bar the time part is conversion and the market is dynamically stable diagrammatically dd is the demand curve ss is the supply curve and p bar is the equilibrium price where demand and supply is equal if the initial price p naught is more than p bar then excess supply brings down the price to this level which is lower than equilibrium price p bar and at this lower level of price this excess demand will push up the price to this level which is more than equilibrium price p bar but less than initial price p0 again this excess supply will brings down the price to this level and at this level this excess demand will push up the price up to this level this way the price level will adjust it with the equilibrium price p bar or the equilibrium price p bar is determined this is called convergent time path and dynamically stable market which is happen when d by b is less than 1 or if the slope of demand curve is more than the slope of supply curve case 2 if b is less than d or the slope of demand curve is less than the slope of supply curve then d by b is greater than 1 or more than 1 in such case as the value of t is increasing then the value of minus d by b power t is increasing or as t tends to infinity then minus d by b power t is also tends to infinity and so in equation 6 the current price pt will divert more and more from the equilibrium price p bar then the time part is divergent and the market is not dynamically stable diagrammatically p bar is the equilibrium price here the initial price p naught which is more than equilibrium price p bar but this excess supply will brings down the price up to this level at this price level this excess demand will push up the price level up to this level which is more than initial price p naught and this way the price level will divert from the equilibrium price p bar this is divergent time path and explosive market price which is happen if d by b is greater than 1 or if the slope of demand curve is less than the slope of supply curve.
case 3 if b is equal to d or the slope of demand curve is equal to the slope of supply curve then d by b is equal to 1 in such case as the value of t is increasing then the value of minus d by b whole to the power t is alternatively plus 1 and minus 1 depending on whether t is even or odd and as per equation 6 the difference between p t and p bar is remain the same the time part is said to be regular diagrammatically if the slope of demand curve and supply curve is equal then the difference between initial price p naught and equilibrium price p bar is remain same with the passage of time this is the regular time part of price in copep market model hope you have understood the nature of time part of cobweb market model thank you